La Chapelle aux Saints is a cave site near the village of La Chapelle aux Saints in central France, where the bones of an adult Neanderthal male were found in 1908 and was dubbed the Old Man of La Chapelle. The skeleton of the Old Man of La Chapelle was the first relatively complete skeleton of a Neanderthal individual that scientists had ever found. No one had seen such a complete Neanderthal skeleton before. But the discovery generated controversy as always. The initial reconstruction of the old man by the paleontologist Marcel and Boulle did not do the finders any favors, but it was when Boulle added flesh to the bones he created a stooping, bent kneed, fur covered creature with divergent big toes that looked more ape than human. Over the past century, the skeleton has been re-examined and reinterpreted several times. The original reconstruction of the old man of La Chapelle by scientist Pierre Marcel in Boulle led to the reason why popular culture stereotyped Neanderthals as dim-witted brutes for so many years. In 1911, Boulle reconstructed this skeleton with a severely curved spine indicative of a stooped, slouching stance with bent knees, forward flexed hips and the head jutted forward. But this isn't quite the whole story. A more recent evaluation of the entire skeleton by scientist Eric Trinkaus has shown that the old man of La Chapelle suffered from a degenerative joint disease. He stated that the deformation caused by this should have not affected Boo's original reconstruction of the individual's posture. It appears that Boo's own preconceptions about early humans and his rejection of the hypothesis that Neanderthals were the ancestors of modern humans led him to reconstruct a stooped, brutish creature effectively placing Neanderthals on a side branch of the human evolutionary tree. Whatever the case was though, this fossil was important because it was the first kind of species that really made a Homo sapiens look at themselves and sort of cast it as this other in the evolutionary narrative. The well-preserved skull and less complete trunk and limb bones exhibit a suite of characteristics in common with other Neanderthals. The La Chapelle or Saint skeleton shows evidence that Neanderthals led stressful lives with high risk of injury and that they experienced considerable bodily degeneration from daily activities. The old man may have lived up to 60,000 years ago, but the inferences made from his remains suggest he was part of a family who cared for him in life. Most of his teeth were missing and had been missing for so long that the bone along the gum line had healed over. Given Neanderthals' meat-heavy diet, it's been suggested that the old man may have not been able to feed himself without some difficulty. Perhaps someone was grinding or pre-chewing his food for him. This characteristic became associated with the image of Neanderthals, but in recent decades, a lot of archaeological research has gone into rehabilitating the image of Neanderthals, giving them their proper cultural space. What's more interesting about this find is that besides noticing how Neanderthals lived a risky life by carrying heavy things causing bone deformities and how their loved ones cared for them, scientists have also found one of the earliest examples of a disease jumping from animals to humans while re-examinating a Neanderthal fossil. They say the old man of La Chapelle suffered from a zoonotic disease known as brucellosis which is transferred from animals to man. The story of the old man of La Chapelle or Saints is presented in the Musée des Iome des Neanderthal in La Chapelle or Saints. A reconstruction of the skeleton as it was found curled in the fetal position in a shallow depression inside the small limestone cave is the centerpiece of the museum and the original bones are in Paris. And with that, we have come to the end of the video. Thanks for watching and do let us know what you thought of it in the comment section down below. For more videos like these, check our channel out and do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.